everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to show you how to make it a little bit easier to log into your back end of your Shopify store, assuming you, your company emails are actually using Google Apps. So what is Google Apps? Google Apps is basically a paid version of the Google services for businesses and enterprises that let you use all of the, the um, kind of centralized Google uh, services, right? So Gmail, Google Drive, et cetera, et cetera. So if you have an email address that is using Google Apps, and if you're not sure, you have to ask your administrator, uh, then you can make it a little bit easier to log in to the backend. So let's show you exactly what I'm talking about because it might be confusing, but it's really simple. Okay, so first of all, when you actually go ahead and you want to log into your Shopify store, what you do is you go to your domain name slash admin or you go to shopify.com and you log in and then you need to verify yourself. So you need to put your email, for example, this is my email address and then I, I need to put my password. Now, instead of that, this video is going to show you how to add a login with Google. Okay, so what you basically do, I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to explain something. So first of all, you're going to actually log in the first time. This is just to create the settings. You're going to go to settings and you're going to go to plans and permissions right here. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the bottom to login services. You're going to click on edit next to Google Apps and you're going to click on the checkbox here, which is I want to enable it. And you're going to specify the actual domain name of your emails of your company emails. So, for example, all of our company members, they have at, you know, their their name at astrowebbing.com. So I'm going to click on save. When I do that, the next time people are going to go to log into the back end. Go right here. They're going to see another button right here on the bottom. Okay. And there's a, now there's a login with Google. So now instead of me typing in email and password, I can just go here to login with Google. Obviously I can verify myself and I can click in and do that. So it's a little bit easier to log in. It just makes it slightly simpler. And you saw, I just clicked and I logged in. Obviously they use the, the Google security and the SSO, the logins to log in. Now, a few more small things about this. So number one, your company has to have Google apps in order to log in. Okay. Uh, and so if you have like a Gmail account, for example, or a different Google account, that button will not work. You can click on it, but you won't be able to log in. So that's point number one. Point number two is even though you, you allow Google apps to sign in with a certain domain name, they, the staff accounts have to be there. So if I have in my company 30 people, but only one of them is actually here under a staff account, only they will be able to log in with the permission set. So for example, if I add a new staff member, and let's just say Joe, Joey at AstroWeb, which is the same domain, right? If I actually gave them certain types of permissions, either full or other, they now can log in. If they're not, obviously if they're not in the staff members, they cannot log in at all, okay? And uh, that's basically it. This, this is the really, really simple idea. So uh, the, the last one is you can only have one domain. So if your company has different domains, like they have AstroWeb Inc. and they have, let's say, you know, sistercompany.com, you can only have one here, right? So only one company domain can be used. That's basically it. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, what Google Apps are, how to enable, anything else, Please comment, ask us, be happy to answer. Really appreciate your time. Thank you.